Hi everybody, we're here in the beautiful Challenger 650. By X Aviation. Certainly heralded as one of the greatest complex full study level, level ever aircraft in the flight sim world, X-Plane or flight sim for that matter. It is uh, certainly very uh, dear to me as I have flown similar aircraft in real life. The Challenger 300 is the closest uh, thing I've flown many, many hours in in real life. Uh, this is a little bit different systems wise and a little more intense certainly. A lot more complications overhead. It's much more like an airliner. As I am here in Hawaii at Lahui, a place I have also traveled. I've flown a real Falcon 2000 BizJet to Hawaii. And uh, I do enjoy coming here. Let's uh, do a couple things first. I'm going to get rid of some of the uh, live ATC chatter and just turn it off so that that doesn't interfere with anything. And um, show you the frame rate up here at 100 frames right now. The original shows 36. My X-Plane settings are as follows on uh, display. I've got uh, these so-and-so settings right here. Pretty much maxed. 4X MSAA, and you can see what I have over here. And I do have lossless scaling running over here. As you can see, the lossless settings right there. Let's go to standard settings. Here we go. Three adaptive, target at 100. Adaptive runs smoother to me than does fix, so I leave it on adaptive. I want a target of 100, which is more than enough, but my kind of threshold for greatness. So we'll close that out. Actually, we don't close it out. We just leave it in the background because we want it to keep working. So we're getting 100 frames a second here in the Challenger 650. All right, let's go fly here and take it around the pattern. And you can see how very smooth it is. We'll do a pretty rapid takeoff and landing sequence. My V-speeds are loaded and the FMS is set up down below and everything is all set, all items or check for takeoff, although lighting, probably not. Let's get those all on. This is X-Plane 12.2 Beta 4 now. Double checking the box. I have, I believe I have a flex takeoff set, perf, 21C, um, I think I programmed a flex takeoff earlier, I do, 91.2 is the target, although it comes out with a flex of 89 or 6, we'll go ahead and engage the auto throttle and see what we get. Oh, oh auto throttle is going to be fussy today, so it's manual power for now, so I don't spend all day with that, here we go. Brakes released, about 89 to 90, there we go. Lift it high, I'll tweak it back a touch, tweaking it back to about 90-ish. V1, rotate, rapid acceleration today, we're light. Positive rate, gear up. The 20. We're going to stay right in the pattern here at Lahui. And 100 frames a second still in the upper left corner up there. And it's very, very smooth. No artifacting at this setting of 4X MSAA. No real liquid motion. There's a little bit when I pan these around me. You can see how smooth it is and how awesome it works. 
All right, power to idle already. Got to slam it back down on the runway uh, 35 over there. I have landed this runway in real life, but it's really a beautiful place to be. And it even looks good here next plane. 2,500. Gear down. Check the box for a perf. Approach. Next. And 121 is the approach. Uh, Ref 122. All right. Ooh, we're coming down a little steep. Think break. Don't fly this aircraft single pilot. That would be a very bad mistake. Lots of trim is required in the 650. It's very pitchy. It's pitch sensitive aircraft. Uh, like in most jets, I fly completely with the thumb trim, which I have programmed on a honeycomb unit right now, honeycomb yoke system. Let's check my position on the right base. Looks good out here. A little bit low. I'll just hold altitude and don't get too aggressive on the thrust. Go to our final notch of flaps. Actually, next to the finals, there's 30, and then one more into uh, full 45. Running the trim down again to get towards ref. A jet aircraft is very notchy in pitch, and you're going to find the magical sweet spot. Eventually, with experience, you'll learn where the ref speed is, even if you didn't have it listed. So I'm trimming a little bit down, a couple notches down. There we go. Eh, it's going to get a little slow on ref. Also, a certain power setting to hold ref is probably around 60%, at least, for the full flaps up. Hard to do a flyby and be able to still fly the aircraft accurately. All right, 120 knots on final. Trying to find that sweet spot still for thrust. Nice calm winds today, so it makes for an easy arrival. I'll touch down and pull the spoilers back manually and then do reverse. Won't take much to stop today. A little bit high, so power coming off. Still trimming her down just a tiny bit. Five hundred. Still a hundred knots on final due to the lossless scaling. I mean a hundred frames a second. Flight Alright, gonna cancel that sync rate out. Pitch a little bit more. Sync rate. There we go. One. Keep power in until about 50, then cut it to idle. That's what I usually do in real life as well. 50, 40, 30, there we go. I'll power 40, off. 10. Almost a full stall touchdown. Speed brakes. Reversers engage. Deploy. Wind them up. 80 knots. And we'll cut reverse, go to the high speed exit. There we go. sounds indeed flaps coming up spoilers retract flaps air brakes trims and speed fats check very important flaps air brakes so the trims back to normal and speeds don't count on landing but we'll call it strobes and lights off and there we go all right hope you enjoy the little quick demo on the 650 with a frame rate of 100 and x-plane 12 beta 4. <laughs>